Hi, I'm Holly Clegg. Welcome to my trim and terrific kitchen. I have a great rush hour recipe for you today, crawfish fettuccine. Probably my kids were in college all over when they come back. This was the recipe I'd make for two reasons. One, it gave everybody a taste of Louisiana crawfish, and also I could make it ahead of time and freeze, which to me is great. So this is one of those recipes you might want to double and make half now and freeze it later. You know, crawfish season is really from January to June, and it peaks in March and April. But remember, it doesn't matter for us because you could buy frozen Louisiana crawfish year round and it freezes up to a year and you can use it in any of your recipes. So that's what I do. All right, let's get started here. And we're just sauteing uh, some ingredients, but I heated up just about a tablespoon of butter. And then we have some green peppers. And this is like the foundation of Louisiana cooking. Uh, some onions I've chopped and then some garlic. We're just gonna let this saute. It takes about five to seven minutes. You can tell it's almost ready because it starts to smell so good. Something's cooking in my kitchen. Your green pepper and your onion are nice and tender, so now it's time to add a little flour. And we're just gonna add the flour and just stir it for about a minute or so. And that's just gonna thicken it slightly and we're just stirring it just to get the flour taste out. And this is evaporated skim milk, and we're gonna gradually add it. And then you're gonna to wanna to stir it until it's thickened and bubbly, which takes just minutes, literally. Okay, give me just about two minutes and you'll see it's gonna be thick and bubbly. Now you can see it's bubbly, it's thick, and it's smooth, so we're ready to add our cheese. Okay, it's nice and thick, and we're gonna add our cheese. This is just light Velveeta cheese, and then you just wanna stir it till it melts, and here's a little part skim mozzarella. Oh, just enough cheese in there to give it good flavor, and of course we have to have a little Worcestershire sauce. And then we're gonna do some parsley. Oh, it's coming together so nice. You know, I have to be honest, the other day I tasted it once I got the crawfish in, and I said, oh my God, this could make a great dip. And last, of course, our Louisiana crawfish. Now, why I like to make this dish when I have out-of-town company as well as in my family is it highlights our Louisiana crawfish. And if you've never tasted crawfish out there, think of it as a lobster that swam to fresh water. It is a, really a high quality protein. It's low in fat and it is delicious. But you do want to use Louisiana crawfish because it has been consistently rated as a top choice crawfish and they say to avoid the ones overseas. So you, if you don't aren't in an area where you can't find them, just check a freezer section. Okay, this is all melted. You see how quick this is. And then we're just gonna add our fettuccine. You could use whole wheat fettuccine or white, whatever you wanna do, regular. I sort of like to use the whole wheat because nobody knows the difference. All right, we're gonna mix this together and let's go see how it looks. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. Creamy, cheesy, it looks so delicious. Okay, come over here and, but before I taste it, I want you to see how delicious it looks. Mmm, great, and like I said, it freezes beautifully. Uh, it's crawfish fettuccine made with Louisiana crawfish. Now, if you're one of these that loves our Louisiana food, look in my Gulf Coast favorites. It's a misconception. I make you eat healthy Louisiana recipes and they're all easy. All right, I can't wait to taste. Mmm. Mmm. I can't quit eating it. Mmm. For this recipe and a discount code for all my cookbooks, just check the link below.